6. Finally tonight, our Making a Difference segment, we want to talk about those who are doing just that in the saddest town in our country. Newtown, Connecticut is slowly filling up with people, good people, volunteers, and pets. They're providing comfort to see if they can help, and that counts for a lot. NBC's Miguel Almaguer has our Making a Difference report tonight from Newtown. Yeah, so, I'll say hi, Luther. Help arrived today in Newtown on four legs from Chicago. Abby, Luther, and Barnabas, therapy dogs, here to do what perhaps humans can't, comfort people like nine-year-old Heather. They um, help you get over how sad it is. At the Newtown General Store, where locals gather, Six, calls have come in from around the world, strangers wanting to help. One man from California paid for a cup of coffee for everyone in town. People wanting to do something, to awfully, awfully large you know, thoughts coming, big hearts. Just down the road at Panera Bread, employees from nearby stores volunteered to fill the shifts behind the counter and in the kitchen. They came so colleagues they've never met can attend memorial services. It was wonderful to be able to allow them that time. Josh, Heidi, and Lacey from Atlanta, Georgia, drove a thousand miles overnight to offer hugs to strangers. You guys are amazing. If that happened to us, we know we'd need a hug. So we're yeah. coming to hug and love. This is chewy. <laughs> the love of a golden retriever has helped others in times of need. These dogs responded to Hurricane Sandy and the tornado in Joplin. Luther and the rest of the comfort dogs will be here in Newtown for the rest of the week. Before they leave, their handlers say they will have spent time with thousands of locals. Each dog carries a business card, has a Facebook page, an email address to keep in contact with people they've touched. I mean, what a great way to bring smile to faces, you know? We're all so hurting and they are just so precious and so loving unconditionally. Helping hands from best friends and total strangers in a town where it's needed most. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Newtown, Connecticut. Well, let's end our Monday broadcast on that note as we start a new week. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Brian Williams, and of course, we hope you'll join us again tomorrow evening. Good night.